in the end of our last video i told you guys if you want to learn how to add more features to our file organizer app then let me know down in the comment section and a few of you guys wanted to know how to add those functionalities to our file organizer so in this video i'm going to show you how we can run our file organizer app in the background as soon as our windows starts up so whenever you open your computer our app is automatically going to run in the background so for that i'm going to make use of windows batch files so if you don't know what batch files are so batch files are actually script files which run on windows operating systems so if you want to execute some scripts uh, you want to execute bunch of scripts you uh, one after another and you don't want to type them one by one in the command shell you want to automate the process you can write a batch file and run that batch file and all those commands will run one after another so there's a whole field where you can learn how to program batch files so we are not going into that today i'm going to show you a few uh, techniques how we can use batch file in order to run our python script so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to define one vbs file as well so i'm going to create one vbs file as well and so what that vbs file will do is it will run our python script in background so normally if we run our python code with batch file the command window will appear on the screen and if we close that uh, window then our program is going to terminate but with the help of this vbs file we will be able to hide that terminal window and our program will run in background so the workflow of our code is going to be as soon as the windows starts up we are going to execute our vbs file we are going to add that vbs file inside our registry so whenever our uh, computer will start up the vbs file will be executed and inside this that vbs uh, file we will create a program that will run our batch file and that batch file will run our py code so it's very simple it may sound complicated but when we will get to the actual coding it will be very clear to you let's create two files inside this folder so let me come to my text editor create new file so let's name it file organizer dot vbs and let's create one more file and name it file organizer dot bat so this is the batch file so now let's start creating our bat file so inside this batch file what we can write is we can write echo off and then we will run a command python app dot py so this command will run our app dot py file and uh, what we want to do is we also want to add echo pause just for debugging purposes so that's it this is going to be our batch file one more thing we actually need to give the absolute path to our script file so in my case let me go here grab the actual path of my script file so my file is inside this folder so i'm grabbing the entire path pasting it here slash app.py so this is the full path of my script file so i need to define the full path i can't define the relative path because uh, when we are going to run it when we are going to automate it then we are going to face some problem so we need to define the full path to our app.py script file so this is it this is our bat file so let's save it now we'll define our vbs file so inside this vbs file what we can do is we need to add one line of code and that's going to be create object w script dot shell dot run and then the full path our of our bat file so in my case it's slash file organizer dot bat all right and after that we need to add a comma zero comma and true so this is our vbs file so you don't need to worry about what this line of code is doing here so you just need to type this in so let's save this file and now what we need to do is so what we need to do is we need to first install a few libraries so go to your command shell and write pip install by win 32 hit enter and this thing will be installed and then we can also install pip install win 10 toast so install this library as well so now after we have done that we can come here we first need to import import by win types after that we need to import after that we need to save from 
win 10 toast all right import toast notifier so we will use this win 10 toast library in order to show the notification so yeah, i can come down here now down here so just when our program gets started we will uh, notify user that the program has started so the way we can do that is we can say toast equals to define the toast so we'll initialize the toast notifier class and after that we can say toast dot show underscore toast then file organizer comma the process has been started okay then we need to add one more parameter that will be the duration duration set it to 30 seconds and that's it so what we are actually doing is we are importing the win 10 toast library and from that we are importing this toast notifier class and we are initializing that toast notifier class here and then we are running a method from this toast notifier class called show underscore toast so this show underscore toast it will show a notification and uh, we need to give it a few arguments the first one will be the title second one will be the body and third one is the duration for which we want to display that notification so these two lines of code here it will they will uh, show a notification in our windows so that's it also what we need to do is we need to change our working directory here so i can say os.chdir and change it to our folder where our app.py is located so let's paste it down here that's because when we will um, start our python script using the batch files the batch file will be run from our startup folder so this is a folder inside our windows uh, where all the shortcuts of our executables are present and when our, our windows starts all those scripts and uh, executables are executed so if we are running our python file from that folder then we won't have access to all these folders and we need to change our working directory to our folder where our python file is actually stored so we are using this os.chdir in order to change our working directory so after that our script will so now that we have done this we also need to add here that and not equals to file organizer dot bat and as well as actually file and also file is not equal to file organizer dot vba because we don't want these two files to be moved in the others folder as well so we are saying that if file is not equal to file organizer dot bat and not equal to file organizer dot vbs and then do all this stuff so this is it so our script file is ready to roll so we can just we can just save it first and close it now we are in the most important part of our video in which we are going to set up our file organizer to run on the startup so in order to do that what we can do is we can go to our search bar and search for regis registry so you will see something like this registry editor click on it give it administrator uh, permissions and inside here you need to so inside here you need to navigate to this link you need to go to computer h key underscore local underscore machine then slash software slash microsoft slash windows slash current version slash run hit enter you will be navigated to this uh, link here and after that you need to right click create new then string value you need to be very careful not to mess up anything so right click new string value and give it any name so let's say file organizer right then left click on it and give it the value data and that value data is going to be the full path of our vbs file so let's copy this come to my registry editor paste it down here then say slash file or organizer dot vbs so you need to be very careful not to mention any other uh, path you need to mention the full path of our, your vbs file wherever you have saved your vbs file give the full path to that file and paste it here so if i say okay let me first delete this one because that i had created for testing purposes let me delete it so now what we can do is we can close this and now we need to restart our computer in order to see if our 
uh, Python script will run on the startup. So I'm going to close the screen recording now. So now let's test if our program will run or not. So I'm going to restart my computer. So let's restart it. It's going to take a while. So in the meantime, you can subscribe to my channel. So let it restart. Let me just log in. So now let's wait for the notification. Yeah, we got a notification file organizer. The process has been started. So it worked successfully. It worked fine. So let's test it now. Come back here. Let me first get some images and take them to desktop. And now if I try to copy back these images to this folder, yeah, they just disappeared. They have been moved to images. So if I try to move this one, you can see it's disappearing. It's directly going inside this folder. So let's get all these images from this folder. I'm going to cut them and paste them here cut them again as you can see this folder is empty right now so if i try to paste these images inside my missiles folder you can see they disappeared from the desktop and they are now back again inside this images folder so this program is working fine so we successfully ran our script on the windows startup and it's running in the background we don't see it so this is it for this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i'll see you in the next one peace out